Yes, good morning, everybody. Welcome, my second students. In this video, I will explain something for you about the poem Severing, written by Henry Howard. The suit season that bud and bloom forth brings with a green head clad the hell and eagle the veil the nightingale with feathers in you she sings the turtle to her make had told her tale summer is come for every spray now springs the heart had hung his old head on the pail the buck in the brake his winter coat he flings. The fishes flit with a new repaired scale. The adder, all her slough away, she slings. The swift swallow pursuit the flies. Male. The busy bee, her honey now she mings. Winter is one that was the flowers, bale. And thus I see among these pleasant things each care decays, and yet my sorrow springs. Henry Howard. First of all, I would like to tell you you can get the poet's life from your textbook. The poet's life with his features are so important in the exam the poem you should keep four lines of each poem just spring the suit season the nice season the poet Howard begins with the most beautiful season in the world in the year in England spring the poet says that spring time is full of roses flowers and singing birds what about roses or flowers we can find in spring time there are two kinds of beautiful flowers, bud and bloom. Both of them are so beautiful flowers, fabulous flowers, which cover the earth with a green color. A green color means the earth in springtime will cover with a green grass in nature in garden so what about the other kinds of singing birds there are two kinds of singing birds we can find in springtime nightingale and turtle nightingale is a symbol of springtime and activity nightingale is a singing bird it can sing songs beautifully while turtle tells her tale to her mate to her friend turtle is another kind of bird which refers to or symbolizes spring time full of activities and vitalities so nightingale and turtle both of them are personified like human characters they are given human qualities Nightingale can sing, while turtle can tell. So we find two aspects, two steps: singing and telling. That's why we can say both of them are personified. Spring is gone. Also, we can say spring here, according to the poet himself, spring is a symbol of the youth because spring is the most beautiful season or time in the world 
or in the year as a suffering is the best part of human life. Then the poet speaks of summertime. Summer is come for every spray now springs. Summertime that comes with great activities represented by representing by the heart, the buck, the fishes, the adder, the swallow, and the bee. Each animal has his own activity. All of them are personified. For example, we find the fishes. For example, will get a new scale and the adder with or will sling her slough away. The swift swallow will follow small insects and the flies to be as a source of food for him, for him, because he wants to eat when he is angry. The busy bee will mix her honey. All these animals will make their activities, vitalities in summertime. So summer is like spring. Both of them are what? Active seasons, times in the year. Summer time is full of active animals with energetic vitalities. And then winter is come. Summer, we can say, for example, is a symbol of manhood. Winter will come to decay, to destroy all beautiful scenes of nature. Winter is the enemy of nature. Winter is is evil visitor of nature. Winter refers to the picture of decay and death that expresses the silence of nature and the death of life in cold season. Winter is so cold in England. So the poet here want, wants to tell us, for example, according to his images, his abstract and concrete images used in this poem. What are they? Number one, abstract images. Number two, concrete images. Abstract and concrete images. Henry Howard as a poet of this poem, use two kinds of image that are abstract, which refers to any untouchable material, like the elements of nature, the beauty and the splendor. The second type of imagery or image is the concrete imagery that shows the touchable things as the flowers and the animals as bud bloom, nightingale, turtle, and the other animals we can find in summer times or spring times. So this poem is a cycle of nature because as you know, spring, summer, winter, all of them are seasons of the year. The poet wanted to show that spring refers to childhood or youth actually. Youth in general, youth. But here, according to his point of view, can we say refers to childhood? Why summer refers to youth? Why? Because as you know, spring number one, summer number two, winter number three. So we find childhood, manhood or youth, and then we find old age. So the poet wants to show that spring time refers to childhood, 
while summer refers to youth or manhood, winter refers to old age. The seasons of the year are like stages of human life. The seasons are personified as human characters because they are visitors of nature. Each time, each season has many or some features we can get from the text. Spring is smile to nature. While summer is force of nature, finally winter is the evil guest to nature. This poem is very important, so it is description of spring, summer, winter times or seasons in the year. Thanks so much, my students, for your listening and I try to read, I try to write some notes about this poem and any poem you will have a study in this year in your second year. So thanks so much again.